Well, let's talk about mapping. First thing I'm going to do is create a list. X equals, then I'm going to key in 65, 75, 85, and 95. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define, and I'll define a function called exponent, xp, open parens, XP open parens, let me move this out of the way, and it will get a, uh, a variable, oh, let's say a, colon. And I'm just going to say one, write in one line of code, return a raised to the second power. Ah, that's good. So we have x, we have a function called xp for exponentiation. I'm going to create another variable called y, and I'm going to create a mapping. I'm going to map the function xp to my iterable x, my iterable object x, the list. Now, what is in y? Let's print it out and be prepared for a shock. Oh, unreadable. Hmm. In order to read that, I'll have to translate it into a, into a map first. Let me do that. z equals, I'm going to have to translate it into a list first. z equals list of y. Now, let's print out the contents of z. Oh, there we go. So here's x, and here's z. And as you can see, our function, which is supposed to return a to the second power for each one of the elements in this iterable x, 65 squared is to the second power is 42, 25. 6 times 7 to 42, 5 times 5 is 25. 7 times 8 56, 5 times 5 25. There we go. 8 times 9 72, 5 times 5 72, 25. 95 squared is 9025. Wow, it worked perfectly. And that's what we call a mapping. You map a function to an iterable, an iterable object, and it runs across this object, performing whatever you define in your function upon each element, and returns that to some variable which you have to convert to a list in order to print it out and see its contents intelligibly. And that's all I have to say on this subject right now. This is George Bull saying bye-bye now.